She holds back and plays it central to Nikki Stanton, her former Sky Blue teammate. And as you see, Chicago holds the ball. Sam Kerr nearly there. Bledsoe, the follow-up, the equalizer for Chicago. What a spectacular finish. Sensational stuff. Alyssa Motz with her third goal of the season on the second chance opportunity, the deflection from Aubrey Bledsoe. They were patient, they didn't force, they moved the ball around the back, and of course took their chances when it was there. You see Kerr there getting so close to Bledsoe, who was still on the ground, didn't even see the shot. She was turned around trying to get back on her line, and Motz with that goal in the 20th minute ties this one up at one apiece. Right-footed, curls across to the top of the box. Horan spins, shoots, and scores! Brilliant goal from Horan. Well, we mentioned Haran starting off the season, coming in super fit, just having a great start to this season. This is a great ball by Klingenberg. No one gets a good head on it, but it drops low. And Haran's there for an opportunistic finish, a brilliant finish right from the, the get-go in the first 10 minutes. Every inch of this field drenched as Nagasato tries to line everybody up in front of her. And this is where you just have to get it on frame, make the yes. goalkeeper make a play, follow at all costs. It's like Nagasato is down in a track runner stance there. Now she takes the kick. It is on frame, it's coughed up, and there's a goal for Chicago! I think it's probably wise that Sam Kerr does not opt for the backflip in this type of weather, although I don't put it past her to break out her trademark celebration. And you almost feel for Kelsey Weiss in this situation. It's the perfect ball by Nagasanto just to get that low. Weiss has to get down for it, can't get a clean grip on it. And we said get this anywhere on frame and make her come up with the save. She gets the first one but spills it ultimately right into the path of Sam Kerr. Good look there and how she never really gets a hold of that ball. And then Sam Kerr is there just to slot that. Marta calling for it in acres of space. Edmonds does well to find her. Marta's left footed shot headed. Fishlock in the right place. Here's LaRue. Her shot is blocked. Orlando wants a handball. Not going to get it, but they still have the ball. A cross right in the middle. just refused to give up on that one, didn't they? Well, taking advantage of set piece, but moving the ball left or right. Orlando wanting that handball call. And Abogogu putting the ball in here, a dangerous position. Presley finding herself wide open, able to take a touch, and also put that place so perfectly into the back of the net. No one on her having the ability to take a touch and second touch as a goal. Fantastic job by Presley and really making the most out of that opportunity. Pero Mónica tiene eso y tiene gol, además. Pero tiene gol y tiene una claridad que llama poderosamente la atención. Y alguien contundente... Cuidado con la salida de la arquera. No hay foul, el remate de... Dorani, golazo, golazo, golazo. Scotland, 
scored by player number 23, marcou a jogadora número 23, Elizabeth Arnott. This year, that's fewest in the league. Brenya's daughter. That shift right down to the feet of Long, off the post, it was tipped, Sinclair put it in. Portland scores in the 15th minute, Barnhart got a touch to the first shot, but the rebound falls right to Sinclair. The first one didn't fall, Ali Long in the right position, ball comes back off the post, Sinclair just there able to clean it up, push it to the back of the net, almost got blocked at the end, but Sinclair just in the right spot was able to finish that one. Nagasato saved by Acker Strong, yeah! but the putback is good, Chicago on top! Nagasato is the one that steps up, but Ekestra stays tall, does not guess, gets a touch on the first one. But Nagasato continues her run, Ekestra does a good job getting something on it. And I love that Klingenberg was also one of the first people to get to it, but Nagasato. Bogu is able to get it on her head. Camilla trying to volley it, but can't get it to come down the way she wants. Marta's going to volley it. She gets a good shot. That is pretty. What a shot by the five-time FIFA World Player of the Year. Second goal of the match. Just one time strikes it. Watch this. Perfect. LeBay had no chance. Rapino. Good delivery and nearly an own goal. Back post. Naho puts it home, and Seattle's tied it up. Look at the celebration from the Seattle team. Rapino cuts it back to her right foot and just sends it into a dangerous area. When you do that, something happens. Naho does exactly what she needs to do. If you are a far post player, you better clean up the garbage. And right there, she just puts it in the back of the net. It can't be the triple team. And now we come the other way with Smith. Smith, touching it by Moros in the box, playing it across. Shot is blocked. Second look for Williams is in. And in the 86th minute, the North Carolina Courage have taken the lead. Taylor Smith showing why she was a forward mm -hmm. in the past and why she's a really good outside back now, just jetting by two players to make yeah. that happen. Thorns the lead. Nadim, the save from Heracic, but the rebound right back in the net. This game is something they're going to want to address, but that's fantastic. Great ball Pass played. Again. Boliana plays it back. Great save Big by save Smith. By it Smith. falls for Hagen, and Hagen finishes this time. Her second of the night, second of the campaign, giving the dash a two-goal margin. As Smith will feel let down by a defense. You know, Boston were obviously a little bit open. They're going to chase the game, trying to get the equalizer. Smith does fantastic to make the first save, but nobody was helping her out with the second ball, and it falls open to, to Hagen and there's an easy tap in. Oh, I gets on her right foot. Daly trying to flick it on. Harris gets not punched to it. Not great. Daly again, and it's good! Rachel Daly on the rebound. Her second of the night, sixth of the season. Puts the dash up 2-0. Matlalo. Daly over, still loose in the middle. It's in! Sofia Huerta in her Houston Dash debut ties the game in the 12th minute. A little miscommunication by Sana and French. Leaves the, leaves the rebound and just a simple put away for Huerta, making her debut, putting her stamp on this game early on. I'm not a big jinx guy, but there's a tr that's a trend. Meantime, onside, Daly with an opportunity here and a big save coming off the line by Sheridan. Rebound and a goal for the Dash. The South African in the number 10 jersey. Malalo, her first goal of the season, and it's a big one for Houston. But a quality save nonetheless. Another through ball for Kerr. She stays on her feet. Nice touch finds Maya Hayes. It's open. Kerr, if she was on, she's rolling on the ground. Heracic is down. Hayes takes a shot. It goes in with a player. First, we saw Coleman take a spill. Great touch from Kerr. Kerr tries again. That's the Dorsky that came out and made that great play, but Hayes, cool, calm, and collected with the keeper, unable to get up. And that's an unfortunate way to concede. 
Well sent in. Harris has come out to punch it away. Back toward the goal and in! No, and the initial service is good, but Harris doesn't get much on it. And that looks to be Jensen who just lofts that over the top of the back line. I mean, you have Orlando players staying on that line trying to prevent anything going in. Corbos playing it up the line. Chance now for Meehan. Inside for Kerr, who dummies it through. Chance now to make it 4-2, but O'Hara is denied. The rebound is put in the left-footed, and all of a sudden it's 4-2 as Leah Galton buries the chance. The two subs, Meehan and Seattle looking to remain unbeaten at home. The only team left in the NWSL with regards to that category. Falls for Mewis. Oh, and it sneaks in. It's a brace for Mewis. Silencing the crowd once here, once more here at Memorial. Sam Mewis just uses her body to get a touch on the initial ball. Poor clearance from Seattle. Falls right to her, and she has so much space and just hits that ball to the near post. Good switching ball out wide. Mackenzie Doniak. Long cross headed back to the middle, palmed away by Harris. Chance for McDonald, she scores! Jess McDonald, her first of 2017, and North Carolina jumps in front. Finally get that cross in. A great save by Harris, but an even better finish by McDonald for the, for the goal to put him up 1-0. There's a Boney trying to weave her way through the traffic. Through the cluster, this one is set up and a score! Ashley Hatch puts that one in the back of the net. Ashley Hatch, nice solid finish once again. Seattle shooting themselves in the foot. Davini will turn it upfield. Has Mathias overlapping. We'll play it for her. Merritt Mathias first time cross. Brought down now in the box by Williams and her shot goes off the crossbar and in. Beautiful finish from Lynn Williams. Her fifth goal of the season. Lynn Williams puts herself in a good position to get a shot. Looked like that Erica Skrosky was going to head out, but Erica wants back into the match. She is back on the pitch right now, and Sky Blue will take a shot. Another rebound chance, and how about that? We're tied once again. Sky Blue FC gets another goal. Gets into box right now. Simon dives, can't get it. Cut back. Andresina on it. Gets a piece of it off the post. Andresina still. She puts it in the back of the net. Ojai runs around Simon as she's done all half long. Cuts this back. Takes a, a good deflection for Andresina. And then she's able to follow up her own shot. Away from Oyster. Catley, great work to get it back to Abogagoo. She peaks central. Good save from Smith. Second chance for Hill. It's in the back of the net. The rookie Hill in the starting lineup. This, if you're a young player watching this, is the classic cross for these wet, slippy conditions. Low, hard. If your teammate doesn't get on the end of it, someone on their team is going to smack it in the back of their own net with a mistake. You get two blue shirts. The second time, it's... Rapinoe's going for goal. It's at the cross. Tell if French gets that initial touch to deflect it off the bar. It doesn't matter though because it deflects right out into the path of Jazz Spencer. And that's a typical finish. That ball's still high in the air, coming at a quick pace right back at her. And she does the right thing, just a steady contact with it to redirect it on frame. Galton. Boy, she was really pinging some shots in training yesterday. Will she get an opportunity? Crosses it in, Hayes, and now a goal! Sam Kerr was there. And we talked about Jersey trying to see this game out and pick up a point. Well, how about this for a little attack? Just Galton, the substitute who just came in, drives end line, pings that one across the face. You've got the near post runner, Maya Hayes. She gets that all important touch to allow that to fall at the feet of Sam Kerr. And if Sam Kerr is sitting in the six yard box with no pressure on her, she's gonna find the back of the net. Good. Still pressuring. Fishlock fires! Saved by Campbell. The rebound. Giannis puts it in. 
Yana's seemed due, uh, uh, due for a goal much of this half. Finally, she's got it. Sometimes as a Ford, you get rewarded for all the hard work you've had previously. So here you go, Yanis. Long ball sent towards Johnson, who does get the first touch of it and goes around the defender. Can slide any money. Dorsey might still fall for Johnson. It's a second for Sky Blue and a second for Katie Johnson, who tried to find the ball towards Dorsey. Instead, it just fell for her. And she strikes for Sky Blue second. It's two goals to nil in favor of Sky Blue. Finisce il rimpallo Bergamaschi. Scambio con Mauro. Va dentro Sabatino. Arriva anche Bonansea. Bergamaschi con il cross dentro a tagliare tutta l'area. Sabatino! Con il gol del 2 a 0 per Daniela Sabatino. Il primo gol in questo torneo, in questa Cyprus Cup. La firma del capitano. 2 a 0 Italia. Come ni i nostri variant. Aslani skjuter. Oh! Mm! Och vilket mål sen. Posso bara Aslani. Med ett riktigt konstnummer därifrån. Vi ska få perfekt båge på den här bollen. Ja, oh, det är verkligen läckert. Trippar med fötterna för att hamna helt rätt och det är perfekt avslut. 3-0 för Sverige. Återigen efter en fast situation hörna. Lust für die Brandenburger und Potsdam wirkte geschockt und unkonzentriert zu Beginn der Partie. Fünfte Minute, da ist Wu, Tor ist leer und Ball ist drin. Lisa Schmitz da mit dem Fehler kommt da viel zu früh aus ihrem Kasten raus und die Kanadierin mit Wurzeln aus Hongkong mit ihrem dritten Saisontor einfach mal mit Spitz ins kurze Eck. Getting some scoring from all through the lineup. Sinclair, eight goals on the season. Gets the cross, headed down. Sykes is there and she has it all. The Aussies firing up the crowd here at Providence Park. First goal of the season for Ashley Sykes. And well deserved because I think she's been the brightest spark thus far for Portland. But it all starts with this woman here, Christine Sinclair. She drives that line, gets that serve, pulls it far enough back. Poor clearance there by Gordon. Bounces right to the feet of Sykes. Goes forward again. What an athlete. What a mover. Finds butts inside. Can Australia go back to back? Van Egmont. Back to Legazzo, along the deck, Ford at the back post to finish it all off. It is two in two minutes. Caitlin Ford take a bow. And again, they created that width and then the runs into the box were perfect. But what was even better was the low and hard ball and the finish. Well, that is absolutely world class here from Caitlin Ford. She has very minimal room for error there and she makes it on such a tight angle. She deserves that goal. Caskell. Mortz. Legazzo! Two goal buffer restored. And Chloe Legazzo thumps one in. Too hot to handle for Eliza Campbell. And the Matilda star keeps the shot down with exquisite technique to make it 4 2, Sydney FC. War make an incursion in the box through McCormick and they pull one back. The crowd goes absolutely wild, but the job not yet done for the Brisbane Roar. Courtney Vine drills it in. And now Collister. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. Tegan Collister. What confidence. What audacity. 3 1 Newcastle. That's a good ball. Springing O'Hara. Five in the attack now. More coming for the U.S. in blue. O'Hara. Morgan. Couldn't get it. Rapino. The shot. Rapino. One nothing U.S. This is the first time we've seen Kelly O'Hara really get into that attacking third. 
Alex Morgan's trying to get that back post to get on the end of the service. England can't clear it and lands at the chest of Megan Rapino. And she just rifles this one. Half volley, lands it near post past, Bar past Bardsley. She doesn't even move on it. JP, you have to go all the way back to where this is the first time we saw Pugh actually check and receive the ball in a deeper area. They released Kelly O'Hare. Now she has time and space, goes for the early service. Thank you. 